Hey guys, it's Holly here from ByTheStand.com and I have a really great product to share with you guys today. This is probably the coolest toy that I have ever got. This is called the Oki Printer and we're going to use it in conjunction with LP Vinyl from Heat Transfer Source. This vinyl is amazing and what it's doing is changing how you craft. So pretty much you know if you have like a Cricut or a Silhouette that you can cut um, on vinyl and then you can applicate heat transfer it onto different products, fabrics, um, pillows, t-shirts, stuff like that. What the LP vinyl allows you to do is print an image directly from your computer, print it with the Oki printer onto the LP vinyl and then heat transfer that image onto anything you want. What you can also do is you can cut it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take a pretty like Pinterest desktop wall wallpaper background and we are gonna then cut it with our Cricut. So let's get started and you guys are gonna see just how fabulous this system is. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to print an image from Google onto LP vinyl using the Oki printer. So what I have here is just an image that I have saved from Google and we're gonna go up to file and we're gonna go print. We wanna make sure that we have the Oki 332 printer selected. We wanna change the paper size to A4. And then here as well, you can um, scale the image um, to fit. We're just gonna fill the entire paper. We wanna go into preview here, but we wanna go down and select paper feed. And we wanna make sure that we're feeding from the multi-purpose tray. We then need to go into printer options. Here we're gonna go to feed and we're gonna make sure for media type that we have labels selected. And then once we have all that done, we're going to print. So on the LP vinyl, you wanna make sure that you load the uh, vinyl with the watermark side facing down. And now you can see that we have our gorgeous picture. So now that we've printed our LP vinyl, we're gonna cut um, something out with it using our Cricut. I use Cricut, but if you use uh, Silhouette, you can do this as well. So I'm just gonna go up here and we're gonna launch Design Space. And what we're gonna do here is I wanna use this um, these, this fancy pattern, floral pattern that I have here to cut words with it. So I'm gonna just start a new project here. And text, I like the word bloom or spring. So we're gonna type bloom. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna find a nice fancy font. So I'm gonna go into my system fonts. Um, there's a font that I like called Good Vibes. So we're gonna search for that. And then I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger here. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go ungroup. And then I'm gonna attach, move my letters so they all attach here. So I'm just gonna put them one on top of the other here. And then I'm gonna select it. I'm going to attach. And then I'm gonna weld it together. So now it's one piece and I can move it around, I can resize it. So let's go about there I think, just a little bit bigger than six. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to cut this. So we're gonna go to make it. So we're gonna take our LP vinyl and we're gonna lay it down on our Cricut cutting mat. Smooth it out so it's nice and smooth. Feed it into our Cricut and it's gonna cut out the work for us. Once it's done cutting, what we can do is we can weed away the negative part that we don't want and leave the word behind. And here we have our word bloom. 
All right, so now what I need to do, since um, this is all floral pattern now, it's a little hard to read without an outline. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this font, and we're just gonna make another one that's just a touch bigger just to outline it. But what helps too is so I can see, I'm gonna change the color of um, this one here, or one of them, doesn't really matter. Let's make it a nice pink so we can see. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Now we can get rid of this, and then we're gonna cut this. So we're gonna be putting this onto a dish towel, and I'm gonna put down the first layer, just the colored HTV, and I'm gonna put my barrier over top, and we're gonna press it for 17 seconds at 320 degrees with medium pressure. Once that's done, we can remove the transfer tape. And now we are going to put down our LPV, LP vinyl. So I'm using a little bit of transfer tape here just to get it off of the backing. And we're gonna put that down over top of our HTV. And again, we're gonna just press this in the heat press for 17 seconds. 320 degrees at medium pressure. So that's it guys. That's how you take an image from Google, print it on some LP vinyl, and then apply it to a project. If you guys want more information about these products, the Oki printer and the LP vinyl, please visit heattransfersource.com and they can get you all hooked up with their amazing packages. I will see you guys on the next video. Happy crafting.